We're here at KingCast.net. We're here at 525 Beach Street in Revere, Mass. And I'm here with Clifford Pisano, the abutter, who lives in the greenhouse in the background there. Uh, Mr. Pisano, since you called me about two months ago to investigate this matter, uh, what have you learned? I've learned that there's a gas tank underneath the ground of 2,000 gallons. I've also learned that the land is actually contaminated, and that's on the record in court a couple weeks ago. I uh, also found out that they did the testing back in May of 2011. They had 120 days, which to report this to the EPA, the city, and everybody else, that was in August of 2011. Yet, the city, the EPA, DEP, nobody has been provided any information about the testing that was done at 525 Beach. And actually, sir, just the other day, maybe two or three days ago, I did get the initial notification from the EPA, but that notification... That notification does not tell me exactly when the testing was concluded, so we're going to keep hammering at that. I'm going to go to the EPA myself, and we'll see what happens. Okay. That'll work. Take care, sir. Thank you. The Channel 5 undercover. Who, who's ignored you on this? All the media has ignored me on this. And this has been going on for the past year and a half. Yeah, it's pretty clear to me that these people, pursuant to 21E, uh, you know, they are definitely parties. Uh, they are either owners or operators of the property. So I don't understand you know, exactly why this is going on. And, and, well, uh, because that's the way things are done in Revere. They're hushed up. When it comes to people's health, they're really not looking out for them if they were. They would already had the test results, they would already been public, and everybody would have been happy. Uh, investigation that was done did reveal some uh, low-level contaminants in the fill of on the land. Put a hold on them from doing any work until this testing, this whole thing uh, come up. Counsel, if you could, when did your client come into possession of the testing results? If you could, counsel. Counsel? This is crucial. If, you know, if your client got that a long time ago last year, KingCast.net at McPhail and Associates, and essentially they told me that they, you know, cannot release the information to me because I'm not their client, and I understand all that. So I just struck them to say hello and to uh, apprise them of the situation that I have emailed people whom I believe to be their client, and uh, we're looking for information uh, because, again, the testing at 525 Revere, uh, the 525 Beach Street in Revere, was done in May of 2011 but was not mentioned, uh, toxicology was not mentioned at any point, uh, ever, <laughs> as far as it pertains to the city of Revere or to the abutters or anybody like that. So um, at this point, uh, I'm going to continue on on my path and call EPA and see if they have to re uh, file the original report because in the notification it claims that the uh, Developers and owners did not know of the uh, TCE levels and other uh, toxicity levels uh, until December 16th, 2011, yet there's a 
line item in the budget submitted in November, the site can review, so that doesn't try. So anyway, I'm going back on my motorcycle now, time for a ride. You know, E gets your rule 1717060. Yep. Uh, if applicable, a shadow study and assessment report pursuant to Chapter 21E of the MGL. It looks like that would have been applicable, and there was testing done in May that I read about mm -hmm. on the developer's website. Yeah. And basically, my father retired as a research chemist, toxicology. I was a yeah. zoning manager, and I'm like, how did this get through ZBA without it, this has not been managed? It's like got to do with ZBA. They still have to clean the site. Well, they have to clean the site, but it should have been presented. To get a building permit, they have to clean the site. I understand and that. the site. I understand right? So what's that got to do with the ZBA? Listen, listen. What I'm trying to tell you is this, okay? Before it got to ZBA, it had to go through site plan review, okay? It got denied by site plan review. Right, okay, that's what we were research, okay? Yeah. So I'd like to find out, take a look at the file, and see what happened there, and then as far as ZBA goes. All you're going to find is a denial letter. Okay, can I see that, please? We haven't done a site plan review yet until the variance is approved. Right. Because apparently it's been appealed. So until we get certification that the variance has been approved and the appeal has been you know, overturn, then you can start a second review. Time out. They're saying it's okay to get it on the back end. It should have been submitted on the front end. Okay, I showed you where they knew that there was contamination back in May. Here they are telling the EPA they didn't know until December. That's crazy. They had an affirmative duty to come forward with this information, but they didn't want the public to know. Look right there. $25,000 allocated for the environmental remediation. All right. What was that for? Cleaning up dog shit? No, it's not dog shit. It's bullshit. That's what it is. They didn't want the public to know what was involved, so they kept it and hid it on the down low. But I'm not a down low brother, so, you know, I had to out them.